Hey guys and welcome back my name is DeFree and for today's video we have a little bit of a special video so for this one it's a two-parter we're gonna talk about this news and we're also gonna have some gameplay on Dragon Ball Legends so hope you guys enjoy hit that thumbs up and subscribe for if you are channel if you're new to the channel excuse me for more content and let me know how you guys like this format and also check out the other channel content that we've been putting out recently I'm sure that you guys are going to enjoy it um, so that being said here we go so it's February 26th in Japan Dragon Ball premiered 37 years ago today on Fuji TV. So this was yesterday, technically, because, you know, they're ahead in, in terms of the date and time in Japan versus where we are. But today for us is February uh, 26th. So pretty awesome to say the Dragon Ball anime's anniversary 37 years ago in Japan. So if we look at the date again, did premiere February 26, 1986. Where were you guys at 1986? This is like seven years before I was even conceived. <laughs> so where were you? This is 15 years before some of you guys, because 20 years maybe for some of you guys. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, moving on. the general audience on, on YouTube for my type of content is anywhere between uh, teenage age to about my own age. So some of you, there's, there could be a pretty decent variance. Anyways, so in terms of the manga, which obviously premiered first, if you were wondering when that came out, it was December 3rd, 1984. So, you know, a little bit before, obviously, they got the manga running and then came out with the anime adaptation for Dragon Ball. But that's not all. And huge shout out to Dragon Ball. A little bit more info. Chikasi Kubota. Hopefully I, I pronounce that name. I, I, hopefully I pronounce it right. I always butcher some of these Japanese names because it's just hard for me. Uh, also, you have to kind of take the time to learn them. And honestly, I haven't done that yet. Anyways, he says that he's interested in working on a Dragon Ball remake if Toei ever decides to do one. He mentions the same uh, to superhero producer Norihori, Nor Norihiro, excuse me, <laughs> Hayashida. Uh, so... This news came out a few days ago, uh, and my take on this was, while there's a DBZ picture here, uh, I think that he kind of worked on this part of, of the, the movie as well. But anyways, um, my take on this was Dragon Ball Anime, the OG, getting a remaster or, or a remake, excuse me. Uh, so that's something that's never happened. I mean, we have Dragon Ball Z, which got Kai, but obviously they start literally from episode one of Dragon Ball Z, completely skipping over the original part of Dragon Ball. I am personally of the opinion that, you know, Dragon Ball is kind of inconsequential to a lot of the story for most of the fan base, and I can understand why, because, you know, some characters, well, a lot of the main characters, pretty much all of them do kind of persist, looking at you, launch, uh, but most of the main characters persist into the next, the next part of the series, and we see a a lot of them from time to time some of them are very common like you know bulma and obviously goku and krillin's there a decent bit you know what i'm saying but to me i really enjoy the original series because while it does start kind of slow uh while some of the jokes and the humor uh, between now and 1980 hasn't aged particularly great uh, i do find humor in, in what it is and what it's supposed to be and personally so i enjoy it um and i think that some of the best choreography in the series is in that part of the series before they got to the point where everybody's flying around and there's some good choreography don't get me wrong in dbz and later content but they're flying around they're doing all these huge energy beams it's more hand-to-hand -hand based like that tournament with uh goku and piccolo was amazing amazing stuff which is also getting a adapted into uh, Kakarot DLC soon. So that's awesome to see that part of the series getting loved. So anyways, long and long-winded version of this is people ask me why like Krillin is my favorite character because I really love Krillin from the original series personally. And uh, that's where some of these characters like Krillin and Tiana, and Yamcha, these characters you don't see very much in Z and onward doing much of anything. That's where they get all their development, most of their development. Krillin gets more, uh, a decent bit more because he has you know, the family pop up. And so that's kind of what I think about the series. So first, personally for me, I think this would be amazing. It's never happened. I'd love to see it. And I, I would actually be really interested in introducing that part of the, the series to the fandom. Because if I were to take a poll, I'd say probably more than 50% of people skip this part of the series. Because like I said a moment ago, it is inconsequential to a lot of Dragon Ball. I mean... Piccolo, obviously, very huge development that he gets from that part of the series, and you understand the character a decent bit, but you also could read up on him and understand his lore in like five minutes on Wiki or wherever, right? So it's kind of inconsequential, but I do think that it's a part of the series that you want to follow and you want to know about and you should watch. So I think that this would be awesome to see. 
So, hope you guys enjoy the next part where we revisit Dragon Ball Saga because while the series doesn't get very much respect in media that much, it certainly also doesn't get it in Dragon Ball Legends. So, we'll see what happens over there. Alright guys, so true to form, we are here with a Kid Goku slash Dragon Ball Saga team. Man, this team brings back some memories. I remember times where Kid Goku, when he first got a Zenkai, and he was one of the best characters you could use in the game. He was Z tier on all the tier lists, and Kid Goku was awesome. He was a, a, a leading character that offered a ton of support, which his support isn't terrible. 25 counts for 20%. It's not It's not anything special, the rest of it, but the amount of time it's there is a good amount of time still by today's standards. Um, and then he had Endurance, which is so awesome. And Kid Goku was just such a cool character. And they reworked his green card to allow it to combo. It did not combo before, and it works on tap shots. I don't know that it did before. It might have. But anyways, anyways, I remember this team. And man, building this team was like, dude, none of these characters I've used ever. Like... I don't know. This team was still bad when they got Yamcha and, and, and Launch and King Piccolo and the EX Roshi. This team was still bad, right? They were in, then also the bottom row characters, these new ones, were better on like mono teams or whatever, just offering bench support or on like a red or green team, whatever. And then he was better on regen. And he was cool, but I believe he has a timed transformation in terms of when he could transform, if I recall correctly. Uh, I'm not even going to use a lot of... I'm not going to use these characters a lot, so I'm not going to bother revisiting their kits and just kind of refreshing because it's not like a... This isn't a serious video. I just wanted to throw them out there, like I mentioned a moment ago, for the anniversary and stuff. And also, I liked Roshi, but he never... Again, I didn't get him high enough stars to really try to use him much, but he was a solid support that offered sub count down and things like that. But the point is, these characters had no equips. I mean, like... <laughs> they have no equips first and foremost like terrible options even kid goku who's a saiyan he has some better ones but it's like they're not good equip options really for the most part on any of these characters so it was kind of weird also they're going strike based and melee bait or end range at the same time you don't really typically love that especially on characters like these that are a little bit older things like that and then last but not least shout out to yellow king piccolo because he is the better yellow because he does have some utility in, t in terms of still today, actually, with uh, always nullifying endurance stuff. I would use him, but I had to have a Kid Goku on my team. So I didn't. I, I couldn't. Because the only other Kid Goku, I think, is from Dragon Ball. It's like the blue EX one, who I wasn't going to use either. So anyways, fun team. Let's see what we can do. I have no idea what this team is supposed to be, but okay. The irony is, it doesn't really matter what <laughs> I know about these characters uh, in terms of the opposition and his team, because my team is just so subpar comparatively that it, it just won't matter, you know? <laughs> so I'll just easily lose if I don't play good enough. That's such a cool animation. So we'll see what happens. Wow, his gauge is already full, basically. It's gonna fill right here. Good Lord, man. Good Lord. I gotta just stall here so I can switch. That gauge being full already is ridiculous. He brought double reds into this match. He did not want Kid Goku to do anything. Good lord. What a hater. The epitome of a hater. The very literal definition of the word hater. No. Oh, good play. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Roshi tanking like a god. Kami Senin putting in that work, boys. I'm gonna let him take this hit. I thought about going to King Piccolo there. It's whatever. We're good. Yeah, he's cool. Like I said, he's fine. Sidestep, let's go! It's a shame. I think I have to drop right here. Ooh. Drop here. Irony, so he didn't have to evade that. Nah, this isn't going to do anything, I forget. Oh, it did what I needed it to do. Please be a tackle. I'm not even going to try to see if that's a tackle. It's probably a tackle. Oh, it's not a tackle. Love to see it. Good. I wasn't sure if he switched there, but this is fine. Thank you. Tackle? I hate that you can evade that for no reason. Like, I, I, I there, is there actually a way to evade this? It's the dumbest thing to me that it procs the exclamation that you can actually evade it. What is the point? 
Okay, goodbye, King Piccolo. And before he lives. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen anybody live hits hits uh, time skip. <laughs> Strongest character in the universe. No, the real reason is because that team doesn't make any sense and, you know, all the situations like that. Seriously, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody live it. <laughs> <laughs> and Roshi stronger than Ultra Instinct? Who would have thought? I can't combo this, it's too far away. Oh, I can! Oh, wow. Kind of surprising. I thought he would be able to evade. Maybe he didn't try to evade, though. Ah, but I'm pretty sure it didn't drop. Hey! Come on, Kid Goku! Let's go. I don't think this kills. Is this kill? I don't even know. It's going to be really close. Okay, it did kill. 2.3, an exceptionally weak rush. But that's an exceptionally weak team. I don't take anything away from this. Obviously, this it's just a fun little video. This, this video, if I get matched with all players like that, I'll be happy. But it doesn't really matter. This team's garbage. But I'm happy we got the win with Kid Goku. This one makes a lot more sense, but still nothing crazy. Um, the Z abilities are blue purple with Zamasu or with uh, with, with uh, the Majin Buu, excuse me, and then what green red? So it makes more sense, but not anywhere near. Like, I don't know why I'm getting matches <laughs> like this. It's you know what it is? The game's like, there. I wonder if there's some, I don't think this is the case. I wonder if there's some sort of algorithm where the game's looking at my team and like, oh. He needs all the help he can get. Look at the squad he's getting. Let's give him the literal person at the very bottom of the list. So that's kind of what's happening, but I'm, I'm here for it. Let's go. Also, it's because I'm in the 50s right now. I mean, that is part of it. Since I don't play as much, I get reset to 45. So I have to work really hard to get back up. I'm about to hit like 55, I think, after this match. But I have to work really hard to get back up. Wow. And it's lag again. Okay, cool. Looks like it stopped lagging. Okay, goodbye. That was very quick. Oof. That crit did a lot of damage. Ooh, these hits are doing a lot. Let's do this green. Get the buff. The free Dragon Ball, because it just switches. Got to switch to Vegito. I think I'm gonna sit on this and just go to launch. Back to Goku. Ult draw, maybe get a sidestep. Really? Kill. There it is, nullified, because the ultimate activated. <laughs> I was like, dude, how's this not going to kill? I set up, like, the world's best play ever. <laughs> and I don't get the kill, dude. I was about to be furious with that. Thankfully, I had the blue card to follow. Okay, I have endurance. I don't know that he knows that. There's a character you just don't see, so. I was only watching for him throwing a blue. That's the only thing I cared about. So, Kid Goku's not going anywhere. The irony is my characters take a crap ton of damage from his team, dude. Like, he doesn't have... Okay, Kid Goku's gone now. He doesn't have the craziest team or anything like that. We just take an insane amount of damage. Because my team is, like, not good, you know? Oh, crap. I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> He's going to tag here. I was going to say, like, he can't do much else here. But, oh, my God. <laughs> but, oh, my God. <laughs> It's off the body, Bulma. What did I do? I drew a second blue because she puts the second one in my deck. So if this goes through, she should kill. Those blues do no damage. They're doing like 250k. Okay. Come on, Bulma. It took three bazookas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, what? He didn't sidestep? I thought he was sidestepping there. We're not out of it, boys! We aren't out of it, boys! Holy crap! 
If only I still have my ult, I would win right here. Probably. I don't actually know that I would. No. No. <laughs> you are getting the LF. No! It's all because I tackled with lunge. You know what it is? I didn't expect Kid Goku to die like after that rush ended so quickly. I think he used a blast or something. I just didn't expect it. And then launch got obliterated. And like, like I said, we just take so much damage. <laughs> Dude, if I had my old still, she might have killed. That was the world's weakest rush ever. Oh my god, I was sitting real pretty until Goku and Vegeta erupted with damage. So, and like I said in the beginning, like the team made more sense, but it's still a subpar team. But like I said in the first match, it kind of doesn't really matter that much because the quality of character is just so insanely high compared to mine. <laughs> like, Bulma is a character that's like three years old. Kid Goku too is like three years old. His Zenkai may not be, but still, like the Yamcha or Launch is like a year and a half, two years old maybe. But still, the quality of care, like Tag Goku and Vegeta, is like a revelation to this type of team. They <laughs> oh my god! So I am taking uh, the season a little seriously with my climb. So I'm gonna conclude here. I can't risk another loss. I got to get my my rank up so I can stop getting reset to 45. So. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, we had some fun matches revisiting some of these characters. Uh, this team needs a lot. They need a lot. So have an awesome day. Click one of the videos on the screen before you go, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. So true to form, we are here with a Kid Goku slash Dragon Ball Saga team. Man, this team brings back some memories. I remember times where Kid Goku, when he first got his Zenkai, and he was one of the best characters you could use in the game. He was Z tier on all the tier lists, and Kid Goku was awesome. He was a, a, a leading character that offered a ton of support, which his support isn't terrible. 25 counts for 20%. It's not, it's not anything special, the rest of it, but the amount of time it's there is a good amount of time still by today's standards. Um, and then he had Endurance, which is so awesome. And Kid Goku was just such a cool character. And they reworked his green card to allow it to combo. It did not combo before, and it works on tap shots. I don't know that it did before. It might have. But anyways, anyways, I remember this team. And man, building this team was like, dude, none of these characters I've used ever. Like... I don't know. This team was still bad when they got Yamcha and, and, and Launch and King Piccolo and the EX Roshi. This team was still bad, right? They were, and then also the bottom row characters, these new ones, were better on like mono teams or whatever, just offering bench support or on like a red or green team, whatever. And then he was better on regen. And he was cool, but I believe he has a timed transformation in terms of when he could transform, if I recall correctly. Uh, I'm not even going to use a lot of... I'm not going to use these characters a lot, so I'm not going to bother revisiting their kits and just kind of refreshing because it's not like a... This isn't a serious video. I just wanted to throw them out there, like I mentioned a moment ago, for the anniversary and stuff. And also, I liked Roshi, but he never... Again, I didn't get him high enough stars to really try to use him much, but he was a solid support that offered sub count down and things like that. But the point is, these characters had no equips. I mean, like... <laughs> they have no equips first and foremost like terrible options even kid goku who's a saiyan he has some better ones but it's like they're not good equip options really for the most part on any of these characters so it was kind of weird also they're going strike based and melee bait or end range at the same time you don't really typically love that especially on characters like these that are a little bit older things like that and then last but not least shout out to yellow king piccolo because he is the better yellow because he does have some utility in, t in terms of still today, actually, with uh, always nullifying endurance stuff. I would use him, but I had to have a Kid Goku on my team. So I didn't. I, I couldn't. Because the only other Kid Goku, I think, is from Dragon Ball. It's like the blue EX one who I wasn't going to use either. So anyways, fun team. Let's see what we can do.